Hey, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Transuforma Unboxed, a series of unboxing videos for vintage and newer toys, unscripted and unrehearsed. <clears throat> it's been a little bit, um, probably before the holidays hit, that I've done a video, but I figured I'd do another one since I have today off and a bunch of free time. Today, um, for a change, it'll be somewhat of a vintage figure. Not too old, but I would say around the 90s. Uh, this movie came out. Um, it is definitely a movie tie-in figure. And I don't remember too much about the movie, but I do remember that it probably had a sequel along with a TV series that branched out into a few different um, universes. Now, I don't really know if universes is the correct term, but it definitely had a few spin-off type deals or versions. So, um, but again, I don't remember too much about the movie. All I remember is it was definitely science fiction. And I remember the first movie that I saw was pretty good. Um, not super memorable because I think I only saw it once. And the series I didn't even watch because the way that my mind goes is if a sci-fi or horror series doesn't have creatures, monsters, whatever, I tend to stick, um, stay away from it. Not so much anymore, but that's how I used to think. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in today's toy that I'm going to do unboxing. Now, right before I say this, this has previously been opened because I purchased this long time ago at a flea market. And recently I decided to open this. Um, however, it's still in its box. It's still going to seem like an unboxing video. Um, it did have some assembly, but I did assemble it. Uh, hopefully I kept all of the paperwork inside. So uh, this toy is by Hasbro. Um, it seems to be from probably mid-90s. Um, so without, as I said, without further ado, the toy for today is going to be the Stargate Mastage. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Beast of Burden. Um, I bought it for a dollar at a flea market, as you can see the price here. But the original price was not this. This was a discount store price from maybe Toys R Us. But the original price, I believe, is still on here somewhere. There it is, $14.99 at Toys R Us. That might have been a discount price, but I'm not quite sure. So as you can see, it's rattling around in there. So there might be some assembling that I have to do. Um... There's no real date. Oh, there it is, 1994. So that is quite old. Uh, not as old as some. But, um, all right. So you can see proof of purchase in between some sort of Sphinx. Um, figure not included, of course. Driver sold separately. Do not aim weapons at face or eyes. Here's the back. Official action figures bring the Stargate adventure to life. There's a little bio card. I'm not going to read that because less talk is good. I used to like how this looked here. Um, this, this style of... Um, I guess, showing what the product is. It looks like the instructions. Um, so here we go, we're gonna open it up. Don't need to do any cutting or anything like that. So here's the sled. And the... It's um, very hollow, cheap plastic, as you can see. It looks like it's already breaking right there. Probably because of these pegs. No, nope, not even pegs. So, just splitting from old age, I'm, I'm assuming. Very soft plastic. The rubber band, when I assembled it, um, was strangely enough intact. It wasn't dissolved or disintegrating. So, here's that. Here's the harness. 
very soft. Here is what looks like to be the face piece or the face harness, probably. Kind of, again, soft plastic. <clears throat> projectiles. These are very hollow and very cheap feeling. Now each of these figures, not this particularly, but each of the figures um, came with a piece of relic or something strange. Just a piece of plastic that resembled a, um, I guess a piece in the movie. So these fit in here with a slot and shot like that. I'm going to move these to the side for the time being. And I think that's it for the accessories. Now I'm going to bring out the figure. But wait till you guys see this. Actually, it did come with three projectiles. Ooh, to the side. All right, so here, here's the actual mastage, the beast of burden. Get the box out of the way. This is quite crazy. So, I mean, yarn. Um, very, very interesting choice of design here. Uh, this is basically thin yarn, a solid figure, very soft. No, like, moving or anything like that. And I guess that's how it went. Um, it's got a little goatee beard st style thing. People who are watching this, I'm assuming, remember this from the movies or the show or whatever. But, again, I haven't watched it. So I do not know if it was actually in anything. Maybe close up of the face. Look at that. So handsome. I mean, it is sculpted pretty good, and that's just not an opinion. I mean, you can see the detail and stuff. I guess the uh, attention stops there because it's basically just a solid piece of plastic. So that's that. I'm going to assemble the harness and everything for y'all here. Don't have the instructions. I probably lost those in a move or something, but I'm gonna go by the box. I'm gonna hope that this goes like this. And this goes like this. And I think that's how you how you do it. At least according to the box itself. And then, um, I guess this thing goes like that. It's a sled, so I'm just going to move it over because I know I'm out of frame right now, or I'm going to be out of frame. So, oop, there we go. It doesn't really stay sturdy. So this goes here. There's a little loop on the other side. Not a great toy, as you can see. I think I originally bought it because of the weird factor. And then I guess it pulls the sled across the sand because I think that's what I remember from it, from it, from the movie. And in here is a latch. Oh, hey, didn't know that. So basically you latch it. I'm gonna disconnect this real quick and show y'all about this latch. This I did not know until just now. There's a latch. So you do that and do that and it stays and then it flings up as you can tell it's not too sturdy so but let me reassemble it one more time here and there so B 
Beast of Burden with a weird catapult on top. There. So that's that. That's a short and sweet one today. Um, I'll probably do another one soon. I did get a couple of weird figures from a calendar store that I did post on Twitter. Um, a lanyard, um, or a lanyard, excuse me, not lanyard, that's something completely different. A lanyard uh, space troopers um, bug battle set thing. So I'll be doing that soon. Uh, but for now, I wanted to do a little bit something different, something a little bit more vintage, more uh, from the 80s or 90s. It's been a while, so there it is. Another close-up on this handsome boy. Or girl, it's okay, either one. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, again, I, it's, it's a cool toy. Um, I'm gonna throw in an opinion. In my opinion, it's a cool toy just for the weird factor, obviously. If you're looking for a decent toy uh, for play value, um, first of all, probably the 90s wasn't a good, isn't a good choice for that for, most, for the most part compared to what we have now. However, to put this on your shelf have it displayed would be kind of neat I guess if you're into it um, I'll probably have to comb this comb this out and stroke its head and call it my own such a pretty guy all right anyways enough of the weirdness thanks for tuning in again hopefully I'm gonna have another video soon of those space troopers from Lannard um, as always, um, I am always, always posting strange stuff, food, vintage toys, junk stuff on my Twitter page. It is the Junkmeister at the Junkmeister. Um, follow me if you want to see those. If not, it's cool. I don't care. Whatever. But hopefully you all had a good holiday and until the next time. Thanks for tuning in.